Why is a patient with a bowel obstruction and a malfunctioning NG tube potentially at the highest risk for complications? The reason is because they have an even higher risk of aspiration than they would otherwise have at baseline because now they have an NG tube that is stenting open their lower esophageal sphincter and it's not functioning. So they are going to be an aspiration risk and now it's even worse because that sphincter is stented open. During a gastrographin challenge, should you have a low threshold to put patients back on suction if they have nausea? So when patients have small bowel obstruction, one of the things that we will do is a gastrographin challenge, basically giving them contrast, then taking another x-ray in about eight hours, and then potentially at 24 hours to see if the contrast has gone past the obstruction. And if you see it in the rectum, you know that their obstruction has resolved. The problem is uh, gastrographin actually has a pretty high aspiration risk, and it can cause a very bad kind of pneumonitis picture. So if they have any sort of nausea going on, just abort the challenge and just put them back on a suction from their NG tube.